Joining us now, Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. Senator, it's like jail Trump because he's going to jail us. I, have you ever heard of a more ludicrous framing of an election that people care about the issues of inflation, the economy and the border? You know, it is so tired, Laura, because they said the same thing in 2020. They said the same thing in 2016. But now, of course, they've actually done it. I mean, they are trying to put Trump in jail. Let's not forget he's been indicted. What is it, 64 separate indictments? I mean, these are the people who are burning down every institution that stands in between their way and power. And by the way, it's not only Trump. I mean, where's the FBI showing up? They're showing up at pro-life demonstrators' doors. They're sending SWAT teams to come and grab pro-life demonstrators and then put, put them in on jail trial for and put years. them behind bars. Absolutely. For years. The message the Biden people are sending is, and have sent for years, is if you oppose them, they will try to jail you. So it's hilarious to hear them now say, oh, Donald Trump will do it. They're the ones who are doing it, which is why they need to go. A new Quinnipiac poll from Georgia is showing that on this issue that they say they care so much about preserving democracy, 49 percent senators say that Trump uh, will preserve democracy better versus 46 percent on Biden. Now, this is everything that they've uh, banked this election on. This is what their whole thing is, abortion and democracy. How's that working out for them? Yeah, well, it's working out terrible because you got to start that by actually having a candidate who's sentient, you know? I mean, somebody who's awake, who's alive, I mean, who, who, can, who can speak. I mean, the American people aren't stupid. They look out and they say, yeah, we want democracy to function. And in order to have it functioning, you have to have a leader who's functioning. And Biden's not, not to mention that he's been terrible and is himself a criminal. I mean, this is a guy who has sole influence and access at every stage of his career. It's unbelievable, Laura. I mean, listen, there's no, to me, no surprise that Trump is leading in that metric because people want this country to work again. They want the border to be safe. They want to be able to go outside and not be shot at. They want to be able to afford their gas. You want democracy? The country needs to work and Trump will make it work. Now, what's uh, I thought also hilarious, I, I left something off the list. So it's it's abortion, it's democracy, and of course it's you know jailing Trump. That's their strategy. But after the conviction uh, of Trump on that bogus charge in New York, we compared 538, you know, the polling data from them from last Thursday when Trump was convicted to today, and it shows virtually no change in national polling. So 61%, I guess, in one of the surveys say that doesn't affect them at all. And of course, that's reflected in this poll. Yeah, of course it is, because, I mean, what do the American people want, especially, Laura, voters who are out there working people they're trying to provide for their families you know what they'd like to be able to get a job in this country that hasn't been taken by an illegal immigrant they'd like to be able to send their kids to the bus stop and not have them be shot at or stabbed including by some illegal immigrant you know they'd be able, like to be able to afford gas i mean it's not hard and you look at trump's years in office and you compare them to now my gosh you take that record any day of the week and twice on sundays there's no comparison whatsoever all right senator good to see you up